Hi, this is Samir from Stockholm Microsoft Rendering Pad. And today we're gonna go through a repair of an iPhone 7 Plus water damaged. As I have said in the last video, the red sticker here, it's red. And this, in this case, the red sticker is completely red. There is another uh, sticker near the SIM slot where you can really inspect if the phone has been dropped in water. The first thing first, what we should do in this case, disassemble the phone, take off the board and make a visual inspection to see what other component that are damaged. So today, uh, yes, here. Now, what we see when, while inspecting the board, the first thing we see here is a lot of water damage trace. Here. Now, maybe less light. Less light. Yes. It's a better picture. Yeah. Oi. Look at that. Here, up the Wi Fi chip. There are a lot of components that are completely damaged. And of course, if we connect our phone with a DC power supply, uh, let's choose which one is it's the 7 and 7 plus. Let's connect our phone to our DC supply like this. And now we have to watch the DC supply. The DC supply shows some measurement, like uh, 650, 642, 41, 38, and then and then it goes down. So the reading in the power supply shows that there is a short. There is a stream going out. Uh, yeah. So. In this case, we have to give it some time inspecting, visually inspecting our board and taking uh, all the shields. The most important thing is that there is a main short here in the VCC main that we can see really clearly here. I don't like cleaning the board with any materials. Uh, because when you clean the board, then you lose uh, track of the damaged component. Let me get you a close picture to these components here up the Wi-Fi chip. They're really destroyed. And yeah, if you can see here, they're really destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Uh, as I can see, there are like some... Uh, small chips for the camera and these are like capacitors and filters that provide in the, the Wi-Fi chip with the with the voltage so everything is damaged yeah so before you start testing so we know uh, for sure that the phone is shorted and the VCC main is shorted when you see this capacitor close to the Wi-Fi chip, this is the most uh, capacitor that get damaged when you drop uh, the phone in water. So let's start by taking off the shields, uh, taking off all the shorted component and then see if the short persists. I have taken this component away, get it closer. Yes. Yes. So let's put it on continuity mode. And then uh, let's see if the short is still there. You can put it on the Wi Fi chip because this uh, Wi Fi chip is ground. Or you can put it on um, one of the probes on the edges of the phone. That's fine. This is ground and 
I have seen that the short is gone. This is ground, no short. This is ground, no short. And if I continue inspecting the board, I will just do like this. I have seen some other component there that, that are completely damaged here. Let me zoom a little bit more to give you a better picture of what's happening down there. Yes, less light maybe, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big mess down there. It's a big mess. I have tested these components here, these capacitors, and I found that they are shorted. Actually, it's not uh, the component that are shorted because I can still see a short here. You can still see that they are shorted. Let's put one of the probes here. Short, 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 short. Yes. And even though I remove these capacitors, the short is still there, except for this one. This one doesn't have a short. But uh, in this case, we can just theor theorize that this big mass here could be the problem. It could be this small capacitors that are making the problem. Now we have to clean this mess here with some alcohol. Now we have to test the phone and see if the short still is still there. Let's connect our motherboard straight to uh, the power supply. Yes, the moment of truth. Uh, you can take a look here. Let me give you let me keep you connected under the microscope and let's see we still have a short we still we still have a leak in in the energy and of course the phone is not gonna start with this leak okay let's continue expecting where the short is actually after testing Testing this iPhone 7 Plus, I have found that it's shorted. It's shorted in uh, the power management area, and I have found that all these components here are shorted, and they're all beeping, beeping here, beeping here, and uh, all the capacitors that are. Uh, managing the power are shorted so we're gonna put this video this phone back together and turn it back yeah but before because I have worked on it and I have taken a short from um, other line it appears that it has a short in two lines. So let's test it in the last time and see if we're gonna if our power supply indicates that the short still exists. The power supply says that there is no short. That's really weird. That's really weird. Now I started to worry about this one actually. Look at that. Look at this here, the phone is starting. Look at that one here. The phone is starting, I'm not giving up in it. It's starting. And it's restarting.
Oh my god, look at that one here. Actually, I decided to give up on that one after like three hours work. And I have found the short in two lines. I have taken the short from the first line. I found another short in the second line. And then I decided to give up, uh, to give up on it because um, we have already agreed on a price that I am not taking for this repair. Then I decided to give it back instead of like wasting more time on it. I can work on something else instead. But look at this here. Look at that. The phone is starting. The phone has just started. Oh my god. And let's see if it's gonna start or it's gonna hang in the Apple logo. It's restarting. It's restarting. Uh, so I have to continue working on it. This is the second part in fixing this uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Water damage with a red sticker. If you can see the red sticker here. So after six hours job uh, working on this uh, phone. I uh, decided at the end to give up on it because uh, it has a lot of problem. At the end, look at this now. I just decided to make this video in this morning to show you guys that uh, when you have um, a phone with a red sticker. And check this out now. Check our phone. Check our 6 hours plus about four hours in the first part yes here check the magic here can you see that Check that out. I got a happy customer here. So here is a phone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus that I was working on the first time with the red sticker. Uh, I just decided to make this video like quick uh, this morning before I send it back to the customer. So check that out and everything is working. Uh, everything is fine, the camera, not a problem at all, I tested it yesterday, and here. So, if you watch these videos on YouTube that says, uh, phones with red stickers are not to be fixed, uh, you can check my video, show you where was the problem. The problem was, let me show you here. I have found a lot of problems. This is only my donor board. This is a sound IC that I replaced. Actually, the problem wasn't only the sound IC. I changed the sound IC. I, cha I replaced the TriStar, the charging uh, IC. And I, changed, I replaced this component here also. Let me make you zoom a little bit more. Yes, I replaced uh, this small component here and I went up, if you go back to the beginning of the video then you're going to find that I had uh, found a short in, this, in the VCC main, in this capacitor here, uh, around the Wi-Fi chip and I have replaced this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 uh, component this component was like completely burnt I replaced this component also and here is the trick the most uh, component that was causing problem and was causing the, the the phone to restart because I managed to start the phone but it, it wasn't starting completely and working perfectly except that it was like restarting and showing the Apple logo and then closed off again 
Uh, here is the trick. You always check this component around uh, this chip here, P10B, and it's called on the schematic, I, I think it, this is the PMLIC. PMLIC, yeah, it's here. Uh, no, let me check this out. Yes, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's PBP PMU. PMU. So, uh, keep in mind to check the component around this IC because they are the most important. Then I went up uh, in the, uh, the Wi-Fi chip and I have I have replaced, let me, let me give you the other, my other, my other donor board to show it clear, my other donor board, so you see here all these uh, components that are taken off, I have replaced them, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 components, all this component was completely burnt. So I replaced them, replaced another component here around the Wi-Fi chip, replaced this, uh, yeah, I took it from another component, uh, donor board, replaced also uh, this component here, because one of these components here, it was completely red, red, you can say it, it was like red on the, on the other board. And I replaced also the uh, uh, the sound chip or IC, and I replaced the TriStar and one component that uh, comes with because it went during the process. And uh, this component, uh, main component that was causing problem, it's uh, it's this one. As I have explained, this one was making giving a short to the whole board and causing the phone to start. Thank you for checking this video and uh, if you have some problem you can check my mail down there in the description and you can explain your problem and uh, I can fix your phone. You can send them to me, you can uh, write the description what's the problem with the phone. All damaged phones, all water damaged phones uh, are to be fixed even if you have uh, even if the red sticker uh, uh, the sticker goes completely right. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.